I'm Ginny Metherill. I'm the fourth generation witch. So I'm the fourth descendant in a long line of very eccentric people. Mad maybe, but witches, certainly. Have you been thinking about something new and exciting that you'd like to do? Or well, maybe you'd like someone to grant you a wish. Well, this video is for you. These are all things that September Witchcraft can help you with. For this video is my online almanac series showing you daily witchcraft to do in September. And this is a great green witch way for you to practice your craft. So that by the end of September, when we reach the equinox, this is where balance and harmony happen within the world. It's on this day that you can use the balance and harmony of the world to grant you wishes, to tip the balance in your favour, to ensure your new project has a successful outcome. So I'm gonna talk you through, at the end of this video, the spell to use on the equinox. This September is all about the beginning and the end of the month. At the beginning of the month, the full moon falls on the 2nd of September, and then at the end of the month, we've got the equinox. The 2nd of September is not the actual harvest moon. This falls on October. So there is no harvest moon in September, unusually for this month. However, it is a month of the harvest. 2nd of September is a great time to do your normal moon spells. For example, moon water. To make moon water is very simple. You should take traditionally a copper bowl like I have here, place some spring water in the copper bowl and in holding it in your hands, raise it up to the moon and let the moon's light bathe upon it. Ask the moon to inject her energy into this water and then leave the bowl in the moonlight for half an hour or so for this to work. Then bottle it in extremely clean bottles and you can use it throughout the month in spells and potions. I have a travelling bottle of moon water which um, I've got here so that you can see it's rather sweet isn't it which I carry with me so that should I be caught short I can do a quick spell. I use my moon water in charms and potions and spells. I might bathe my crystals in it to give them some cleansing. I might put it in my bath water to give me some added feminine energy and at the end of the month if I've got any left over I tend to just pour it on my house plants actually to give them a little bit of extra pizzazz and keep them happy. So the new moon rises in Virgo on the 17th of September and this is a great time to start those new projects that you've been looking forward to and thinking about. For example, if you were thinking about joining a gym, having your induction day on the 17th meant that you would probably go to the gym a bit more rather than just spend 20 quid a month and go three times in a year. Only a little suggestion, I've never done that, obviously. I've always used up my gym membership at full, obviously. The magic of the earth lends itself in September to the successful outcome of new projects, which is why you have new school years, new university starts, new jobs are brilliant at this time of year, and a lot of people move house in September. There's a lot of things going on in September. The Druids really understood this and they would accept their new school pupils in September rather than the more obvious January. You know, the start of the year, you'd think start of a new project. Actually, September is really the time to do this. And I really recommend if you've got something that you've been thinking about, go for it now. Start it on the 17th if it's about organisation or health and you'll get an even better outcome. September is a time for feasting. It's the second harvest. The Anglo-Saxons knew September as the barley month and there was a lot of bread, feasting, carousing and everyone was welcome. Arms were given to the poor. People were invited into your houses to share your September abundance. The September abundance in your fruit and your vegetables is so bounteous at this time of year. I have a glut, for example, at the moment of tomatoes. I spend my time giving tomatoes and courgettes to all my friends who look at me in horror and say, it's a bit like bringing coals to Newcastle. But sorry, friends, but you're just gonna have to accept the fact that I'm giving you tomatoes and courgettes. Remember the corn dolly that I made in August? Well, here it is now. It's dried out a bit, so it's gone a bit more blonde. This is the time of year when the ancients would bring their corn dollies in. They believed that the corn dolly held the spirit of the harvest. So they brought it in to keep it safe for the winter and place it on their altar of thanks. And that's why still we have the harvest festival service in the Christian faith, where they put all their abundance of vegetables on the altar. This is so pagan, it's not true. <laughs> this is just a straightforward pagan festival and the corn dolly had been taken centre of stage. So I'm going to bring my corn dolly in and I'm just going to pin it to my mantelpiece. 
so that it will give me luck throughout the rest of the year. And in the spring, I'll take it outside, remove its ribbons and bury it. I quite like this little ritual. It makes me feel happy. So now we come to the autumn equinox, which this year falls on the 22nd of August. The Wiccan religion calls the equinox the Feast of Mabon. Mabon? Mabon? I'm not a Wiccan, so I don't know, but that is all about the thanks that they give to the harvest. And an easy way to celebrate the Feast of Mabon is to put bread upon your altar. However, I have looked at the equinox and seen that obviously the world is in balance. And this is a really brilliant time to make a spell to tip the balance into your favour. So I'm going to show you my equinox spell. This needs to be done on the 22nd. You can do it around those dates, but the 22nd is the date that it will really give you the most potency to your spell. So as with all my spells that uses the Earth's own magic, this is really simple. The items that you'll need is a pen and paper, and this is to write your wish or intention down. The second ingredient is a candle in green. Green is a colour of balance and represents the balance of the earth on September the 22nd. However, if you don't have a green candle, you can just use a white one. I'm going to get a green pen and put some green marks on it. Possibly. A bit of green would help anyway. And the third is an apple. And an apple brings prosperity and happiness. It's one of the oldest of spell ingredients. The apples were considered magical by so many races, the Egyptians, the ancient Greeks. And of course, if you cut it down the middle, you see it's five pointed star. Very, very witchy. So an apple is for happiness, health, and the magical knowledge it will bring. The first thing to do for the spell, write down your wish on your piece of paper. Do you want a new job, a new home, a new baby, a new lover, whatever it is, write down your wish. I have a caveat for this. The wish that you make must, must, must only concern yourself. You know, I want a new job. I want a new lover. I want a new house. Do You cannot make a wish for somebody else saying, I wish that my child would pass their driving test. I wish that my friend would find happiness with a new man. This is wish magic. You need to wish for yourself. I wish that I would grow a beard. Excellent, that's a good wish. I wish that my brother would grow a beard. Not so good. Do you get where I'm coming from? As you're writing down on this people paper, make sure you put all of your will and all of your intent into those words. If you want a new job, think, I really want a new job, it's really important, I get a new job, I really want it. Make sure you put that intent into that writing. Holding the wish in your hand, light the green candle, stare into the flames and do exactly the same thing. Meaning, imagine yourself with your wish, whatever that wish is. Finally, take your apple, which is the happiness and granter of wishes, and cut it straight down the middle. Place your piece of paper with your wish in between the two cut halves of the apple. And holding the apple in your hand, press the apple and the wish together. Imagine again the outcome of your wish and look into your green flame. Take out your piece of paper. Might be a bit damp now, but you need to then burn it in the green flame of your candle. Imagine that the smoke that this burning produces is your wish tendrils going out to set seed in the world and to create what you are asking for. Finally, take your apple, eat it, and bury the core somewhere outside. This will set your spell. And I hope you like this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Remember to press that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below what your spell is and whether it works. I'll let you know mine and I'll see you in my next video.